Hello, Amazon.com. My name is Bo Shevasu, and I review all sorts of fantastic things. You're probably wondering, Bo, why are you laying there on the bed? Are you sick? Did you break your leg? No, I'm watching a movie. Check it out. This is projected on the ceiling right now. Now, of course, it doesn't look very good. That's because the lights are on. So I'm going to go over here and turn off the lights so you can actually see what the sky looks like. Now, you will see that the projector is placed between my two pillows right there. And let's go ahead and turn that off. And oh, oh, how cool is that? Hercules! Okay, back to the actual projector right here because you want to see some of the specifications of this guy. In case you're wondering about the rating that I give this, I do give it a five out of five stars. And that is because this is the best possible bang for the buck that you can get on Amazon for a projector, at least in my humble little opinion. And let me explain why. First of all, it is a mini projector. So uh, it's much smaller than the old school kinds. You'll see in relation to my hand that uh, my hand actually covers it right there. It, it, there is still some weight to it. Um, don't think that it's the size of an iPhone when they say mini projector. So obviously there is still some size to it, uh, but still quite, quite manageable in size obviously i can put it between my two pillows right there if you're wondering where i'm getting the image from you will see right back here is an hdmi cable that i have plugged in and i have snaked all the way back behind my headboard into my macbook pro right there and from my macbook pro oh that was a cool scene from my macbook pro i am deriving my audio right here and you saw my headphones in my ear earlier like so <laughs> now, the other inputs that we have, you will see, is a little VGA cable right there, you know, the blue port. And also on this side, you have an SD card slot uh, in which you could load photos or movies onto an SD card and plug them in and play them as a slideshow if you'd like. Here we have traveling around to the front side, the lens right here, which you can rotate that in order to focus it. Then over on this side, you have a USB port and also a headphone jack right there. Yes, you can play audio through this if you'd like, but it's already coming from my MacBook Pro, so I'm just listening to it on there. Back to the projector. And the backside, oh, we've already kind of seen the backside as well. Oh, 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 there's this cool little knob right there. You can't really see it because it's kind of dark right there, but there's a little dial. It is for a keystone. Um, you know what a keystone is? It's when you pr have a projector down low and you project it up onto a wall and it's kind of distorted. It kind of looks like this on the edges. A keystone feature allows you to um, sort of manipulate the image so that it's not distorted. Uh, so it actually looks good when you're projecting it way up onto a big uh, ceiling or wall or something like that. So a lot, a lot of features in this thing. It does come with a remote control that you can use to, as opposed to, you know, just going into these settings right here, which if you want to take a look at that right there, uh, there's an okay, there's an up, there's a down, there's all sorts of options that you can use to uh, navigate through the menu right there. Or, as I mentioned earlier, you could use the remote control. Two things to keep in mind. Batteries do not come with this. I know that seems like a little cheap thing, but it's, it's, I haven't tested the remote control because they didn't give me any batteries, and I don't have any batteries in the entire house. Anyway, speaking of first world problems, uh, the second thing to keep in mind is the length of the cable. The, the cable, the actual power cable that goes in right here is not very long. I'd say it's only like three or four feet in length. You will need an extension cab um, cable for this thing. Does that make sense? Of course it does. But that's really all you need to know. Uh, and that, and also it's kind of loud. It is a fan. Obviously it's a hot bulb in there that it has to cool down. You don't want it to burst into flames. So don't think that this thing is whisper quiet, but it's a definite five out of five stars product. Best possible bang for your buck. Tronfly totally engineered this thing extremely well. My name is Bo Shevisu, and I hope that you found that this demonstration was helpful in determining whether or not you should purchase this projector from Tronfly, and I look forward to reviewing more fantastic things here on Amazon.com.